kill you. Hello, my beautiful little lemon drops. Welcome back to another reading vlog. It has been about a month since I have posted a reading vlog. I'm sorry, I have my reasons. Y'all have been very upset with me on Twitter tweeting me constantly asking where my reading vlogs are. Hi, I'm back. We are here. I have excuses. Okay, one, I have been working like crazy. I pretty much work every single day but Tuesdays, so I just have not had time to film. Two, I just have not been in the best headspace lately and I don't have the energy or motivation to actually film one of these. And three, I have been reading the same book for a month. The same book I was reading at the end of the last reading vlog, same book I'm reading still because I cannot get through it but it's for a publisher and I'm like I don't want to DNF it so we're pushing through we are trying very hard but those are my reasons but I'm back now so y'all can't be mad at me anymore I'm sorry okay today is Monday the 8th of July um, I'm just waiting to go to work it's 12 10 right now I work 1 30 to 8 15 but we need to open this reading vlog, so here is what I'm reading. Um, a same book from before, like I said, Solving Cadence More by Gregory Sterner. Steiner, not Sterner, it's Sterner. This is about a rock star musician named Cadence Moore who goes missing one day after she has a fight with her boyfriend and then this guy named Charlie Marks decides that he is going to figure out what happened to her because the case has never been solved and he starts a podcast to try to figure out what happened. Yeah, I'm 218 pages in, there's like 370. It has literally been a month since I started this book. Like my last reading vlog was from June 3rd to 9th and I was reading this book. It's literally almost been a month. I've been taking it to work every single day and usually I read pretty much my entire shift at work. Um, I've been avoiding it and doing everything possible that is not reading during my shift so that I don't have to read this book. I work as a recreation assistant and half of my shift today is for camp, like summer camp, so I'm a counselor for two hours and then from four till 8.15 I'm RA which is just like building coverage so I can read during that last bit of my shift and I'm going to force myself to do it I'm pretty sure nothing is going on but like basketball during that time so it's open gym I just have to supervise easy peasy reading time and then as we all know I have an audiobook going all the time that I have a physical book so my audiobook is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein I am about 135 pages in. I started this I think three or four days ago but I haven't really picked it up since I started it. I had my cousin's wedding on Saturday. I worked on Sunday. Today's Monday so we only read it on Friday but so far I'm enjoying it. I like the audio book but I also feel like it's taking me a really long time. The narrator reads really slowly. I have it on two times speed but for some reason, like, it's still really slow, but my phone only lets me go to two, which sucks. I would prefer going way faster for audiobooks, but my overdrive app only goes two speed, whatever overdrive. But yeah, so that's what I'm reading. Hopefully we can finish Cadence More tonight or get very close to finishing Cadence More. Anyways, I'm gonna go make my lunch and whatnot dinner for work tonight. I will probably update you guys in the car because y'all love quality car content and my mom has to drive me to work because she has to pick up my brother. So I will see you then. Hello, welcome to quality car content with Mama G. Mama G. That's you. I'm off to work. I have a fancy blue shirt now instead of my navy blue shirt. Mm -hmm. Or your neon green. Upgrade. Um, I work 1.30 day 15. What are you doing what in that you time? Do? What do you do now? I already told them I'm a camp supervisor, kind of. I didn't know you told them that already. Gosh, it's hot. You were in the shower. I wasn't with you. I know, you were in the shower. You in the shower. I know, that's okay. what I just said. So what are you doing while well, I'm gone? Well, I'm going to drop you off. Then I'm going to go to Best Buy and take the fridge back. We bought my dad a bar fridge for Father's Day and he hates it. He doesn't hate it. He said, wow, now people will think I'm an alcoholic. 
because we wanted to put it beside his side of the couch. I thought it was a great idea. I thought it was a great idea too. But you can hear it rattling in the back. Something he's like not a fan. And, and then I'm going to go to Michael's. 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 For what? Well. Because you're a nerd. That doesn't make me a nerd. It makes me not do what you do. Everything makes you a nerd. You breathe and you're a nerd. I'm going that way. <laughs> you can't be insulted. That is on camera. You, Everybody because... knows that you're abusive. <laughs> uh, call Children's Aid Society. You're not a child anymore. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's choking. Kid. And that, I know it's karma, right? And then I'm probably going to nerd out some more and work on the dolphins. How's my stocking coming? Oh, wait, it's not. I told you I'd do it after I finish that. If it's a 20 year project, I have another 20 years to get that done. It's the 20 years from the start of it, not the purchase date. You're a liar. Which is 23 years. What do you got there? I'm going to keep <laughs> showing it until you. <laughs> so you want people to come to your house? Sure, you need friends. That's true. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's gross. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's book one. Of what? Of a book series. Oh, that's probably from Anthony too. From Anthony? A gift from Anthony. Ah, Happy thank you, Canada Anthony. Day. Keep being awesome. Oh, thanks, Anthony. There you go. It's Air Awakens. I have no idea what it's about. I've never heard of it. He asked me to add all of this one author's books because they're friends. Uh huh. So he's like, add them all to your wish list. I was like, okay. So that's what I did. So he's also helping his friend. Are you picking off all the fluff? fluff There's a me? lot of fluff that came out. Look what happened. I kind of ripped it. Well, thank you very much, Anthony. Appreciate it. Happy Canada Day to you, even though you're American. Oh, I was going to say, is Anthony Canadian? No. But that's okay. That's very nice. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Hello. It is Tuesday. We're going on an adventure. I think I know where we're going. <laughs> I think we're going to go see the butterflies. Am I right or wrong? Ugh. That was gross. <laughs> ew, ew, look, it's like slobbery. It's like, uh, uh, where then, are we going? Then you're gonna be disappointed. Where are we going? When it's not. Okay, just, uh, where are we going? Why? Where are we going? Tell them your theory. Okay, so every year we go see the butterflies because I like butterflies. Place. It makes me happy. It is your happy place. It is. It makes me so happy and we spend like eight hours there. Anytime you go, fun fact, if you're ever going to a butterfly conservatory, wear red because butterflies like red and they'll come and land on you and it's the best thing ever. So mom came downstairs in a red shirt today and I was like, ooh. But keep in mind, I did a red laundry. Thing. No, we're going to see the butterflies. No. Am I correct? No. Yes, I am. <laughs> What are we doing? Is this killing you that yes. you don't know? So what are we doing? Yeah, tell me. We're going to the butterflies. Yes! I knew it. See? Red, I red, I knew I it. I should have worn purple. That was the second mm -hmm. shirt in the pile. You weren't very smart. You gave Would your you surprise that away. If I wore purple? No, it's because you wore red. I was like butterflies. You ruined your surprise. <gasps> hey, we're not going there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we are. No, we're <laughs> I'm so excited! Patrick. It was going up my nose. Oh. 
That was awesome. There, now we're good. We're good. We're good. Please going to your eyes. Again. Oh, in your mouth. He's on you now. Friendship. New friend. Oh, you have to name him? Yeah, what's his name? Samuel. Samuel. Love him. He's great. You see the kind with the brown on his side? Yeah, he is brown and purple. It's brown purple. It's like a grayish color. He's not going to open. The, the, the dot on the outside is absolutely amazing. It looks like the way that the, if the light is in your eye, and like just the way that the, the, the flex on it. What's it gonna be? A turkey. How predictable. I don't know what that is. Peacock? <laughs> is that a peacock? Yeah, it's now a peacock because it's not gonna be a turkey. How predictable. It's a crow. It's not a crow. How is he not a crow? It's not a peacock. Peacocks are colorful. I am working on it. Jeez, so critical. Excuse me, move your hand. Thank you. It's a beautiful peacock. You're so artistic. I know how I got my artistic skills. Draw where we went today. It's a butterfly. So, I just had a shift from 7.45 to 12. And it was a camp shift. And usually camp shifts, I just get to like roam around, make sure everyone's like doing good, but we have like a difficult camper this time around. Um, I have a battle wounds from him. I'm not gonna show you my knees because you know That's a lot of effort But basically there was pickleball and I had to dive in front of this three-year-old child Because he was not listening and he was running through this pickleball Which is basically like badminton and tennis for like old people and he just like started running through and like there's balls flying everywhere So I literally had to like dive in front of this kid and I just like scraped up my knees and my elbows so that he wouldn't die. I am so tired and it's a split shift so I'm done at 12 now and then I have a couple hours and then I have to go back from 5 to 8 15 but at least the 5 to 8 15 is just like a regular RA shift so it's just gonna be like me chilling thank god because I'm exhausted. I feel kind of bad because like me and this kid have like this connection so he'll actually kind of listen to me does not listen to anybody else so when the person who was taking me off was coming in for the like switch he was not having it and he had like a total meltdown he's like i don't want him i want you to stay and i'm just like i have to go home i'm sorry i'll be back at five so if you're still here at five i'll see you then and he was not impressed he was screaming and kicking things and like it was a whole ordeal but i've escaped which sounds really bad but i need a nap because i'm exhausted so I'm gonna go drive home and do that, and then uh, go back to work. Guys, look how swollen my knee is. <laughs> and then that one. Oh, this is why we don't have children. No, 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 no! What are you doing? Putting ice on your knee. I don't want it. I know that, but you know you need it. No! Thank you, nurse mommy. Hello, it's uh, Thursday, 
and I'm having like a mental breakdown. So for teacher's college, we have to do like a math refresher course and it's like um, for grades four to 10 and I'm really bad at math and I'm like freaking out because I'm only on question five of 60 of like a pre-assessment thing to like tell you how good you are at math and I can't do this shit, man. I just wanna teach gym. I want to teach math. This is not what I want to do. So I don't know why I have to do this, but I'm not happy. As you can tell, I'm just having a breakdown. I've had like eight of these already this morning and it's 10.07. So life is so good. I'm totally going to upload this in the vlog because I want you all to know that, uh, you know, it's okay <laughs> if you're dumb and can't do math because you'll probably be a really good gym teacher. Ooh, like, do you guys want to see how easy this math is and I can't do it? Like, I'm literally sitting here like, I don't understand it at all. Ah! Okay, so here's question one. I don't know if that's right. That's just what I got on my calculations, which are probably wrong. But my brother tried to do this and he got some number that was not that. And then, as you continue on... Okay, that fucked up. This was all spread out when I actually did it, but this is also probably wrong. And then, as you keep going, I have not converted an improper fraction to a mixed number, so you want to know what I did? I googled it. <laughs> so, still don't know how to do that. And then, this, you have to, like, reduce it to the lowest fraction. I don't fucking know. I just, it's, I, I googled it again, okay? It's fine. And then this one, yep, I quit. Five questions in, and I'm done. Fuck it. I'm not becoming a teacher. Screw this shit, man. Screw it. Hi. We're back to our regular scheduled programming. It's now Friday. Our mental breakdown yesterday is over. We broke down for about three hours and then I had to go to work at five. I got a bunch of my coworkers to actually look at the math problems. Two of them had just graduated grade 12 and they were even confused and they were like, we just did this in class and like, we still don't know how to do it. So don't even worry about it. Cause your girl graduated like nine years ago. She doesn't remember how to do grade 12 math. All right, sorry. One of the lifeguards that I work with is actually a math major and we were on like question 14 or something like that and he was confused by it and he's a math major so I feel a lot better now going into it and realizing that it's not just that I'm an idiot even though like I am an idiot but a math major was having problems so don't feel as bad now we actually got to question 26 we did skip three questions I think so I have to go back and try to figure those out but a couple of them I actually did by myself which was definitely the fourth grade math questions because it was like converting like centimeters to millimeters and like meters which probably fourth grade but the point is I did it by myself which is really exciting I just realized that I have not updated you guys on my reading since Monday because I've just not been you know doing what I'm supposed to be doing in a reading vlog so we're gonna update you now for Solving Cadence More, we have read about 10 more pages. I think I'm on page like 237. Yeah, 237 of this. Has it gotten more interesting? No. No, it has not. But there's only like 370 pages, I believe. 368. We're slowly making our way through it. I probably will not read any more of it tonight because I'm working 130 to 4 and then 5 to 9 30. Hopefully my little math major is working tonight and we can do some more math. Then Ready Player One. We read actually a lot of this one. I'm on 215 now so I'm actually still really enjoying it. It's starting to get really like action-packed and interesting now which is a good thing. I'm about halfway through. I don't know when I'm gonna listen to this probably tomorrow tomorrow I'm off all day so we got a lot of reading time to do uh it's currently 12 30 so I need to go get ready for work y'all want to see the update of my bruise from tackling a three-year-old look at that I don't think it's that bad but mom said that's really bad and then my elbow isn't too bad but you know, I just thought I'd update you on uh, that situation too because that's what we do on reading vlogs. We don't actually read, we just update on our lives. Saturday update. Um, today I filmed two videos. I filmed my unhaul video, so I got rid of, I believe, 12 or 13 books. 
and I filmed the mid-year book freakout tag. Yes, hello, I'm late to the party every single year. We should be used to this by now, but we'll do our reading update for the day. Solving Cadence Moore. We're now on 246, so we did read a little bit more, like five pages, but that's fine, you know? We are making our way through still. It's only 338 right now, and I'm going to sushi with Ricardo and our friends Jess and Chris at 7. So we have a lot of time to read this. So that's what we're gonna do until they come and pick me up. But then also I've been listening to Ready Player One and now we are on page 276. So we're almost done this one. Pretty much done. I'm not like loving it so I think it'll probably be a 3.5 read for me. Like it's fun but I'm not like oh my god this book is amazing. So like it's average for me but more than average but not amazing so 3.5 that's the way my brain works but i am going to go read solving cadence more <laughs> pray for me it's now sunday around 2 p.m and i spent pretty much the entire morning finishing ready player one by ernest klein i think i'm gonna give it a 3.5 which is what i said yesterday i definitely like the second half of the book a lot more than the first the second half of the book is when all the action happened i think i usually like the second half of books way better than the first anyways i don't like the whole world building having to learn what everything means because learning is not for me okay i just want action and things blowing up which happened so that was a fun time um i work today at four so I think I'm going to end the vlog now so that I can edit it and maybe get it up before I go to work. We'll see how well that goes. But thank you for joining me on this week's reading vlog. Will there be one next week? We don't know. Stay tuned to find out. But I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.